Hey guys, welcome back to Sports Republic Reviews. Today we're going to look at one of our one of our popular popular bags in store. These are the new S21 Osaka Modular XLs. Let's have a look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at these modular XL bags from Osaka Hockey. These are part of the new S21 collection uh, and over the next couple of videos we're going to go through all the bags in the S21 collection. But I thought we'd, we'd start with these modular XLs. These are by far our favorite bags. Um, they are incredibly versatile. There are loads and loads of space and uh, oh, there's that really cool detachable backpack which we'll have a look at now. All right, so what I got, what we're going to start with here is the modular XL Analog Black. Uh, some really cool uh, designs that follow through from the, the stick collection. Obviously, we've been through the stick collection. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you watch it. Um, and you're going to see that same sort of video game theme coming through. So we've got that old sort of DOS style wording on the side. We've got that same C drive Pro Tour stick bag Vision Modular XL. Um, we've got the circuit board design and all of those sort of designs are gonna you're gonna see following in throughout the the range both of these modular XLs have that same branding and uh, yeah we we really think it's cool we love how it flows through from the sticks onto the bags so this is uh, the modular XL analog black really really cool uh, and like I said let, let's just jump straight to the sort of reason why we sell so many of these firstly it's got a lot of space. If I just show you here, we have space for comfortably for five sticks. Whoever carries five sticks, I'm not quite sure, but uh, there's plenty space for five sticks in the bag itself. And we often say to customers, you know, we've never heard of people complaining that they're too much space, but we often have customers coming in here that are looking for bags because the one they currently have is just a bit small. So why not have a little bit of extra space? But what really makes this bag so unique is this. This is the detachable backpack. What you do is you use the zip on the side and you can literally zip off this entire section and just use the backpack if you have a light training session or whatever the case is. So this det detachable backpack is really sort of unique and it's really convenient if you just have a light session and you're just going down for a, for a quick session, you can have all your, your shin guards and um, you can have your glove and your gum guard all in this pouch at the top and uh, you can just carry your stick and, and off you go. When you get back, you can just attach it back to your bag. When, uh, when you do have uh, to take a little bit more stuff along, some, some change, change of clothing, then obviously attaching it back gives you all the space. There's, there's so much volume here and you're really going to enjoy the extra space that you've got. That, uh, yeah, that, that's a really unique and uh, quite a key selling feature of this bag and that's why it makes it pretty, pretty popular. Let's have a look at a couple more, a uh, little bit more of the detail. So if we look at this top pouch, this is generally where people are going to store some of their valuables, their gum guard, their keys, or whatever the case is. This has got a, a sort of water repellent zip, which which makes it, uh, which just gives you that sort of peace of mind that your that your the goodies inside are going to be protected. When we open it up, what you can see inside is we've got a really unique little piece of mesh. Um, I find it quite handy to slip my phone into it to really really good size and it actually sits there nice and comfortable and make sure that it doesn't sort of roll around and get scratched or, or damaged um, so that's that's a really comfortable um, and unique little section at the top as we move further down an important thing to note is this little kangaroo or it used to be a little kangaroo pouch on the previous range that's now been replaced with uh, with some mesh and this is great to put your glove um, Often the gloves get quite smelly, they obviously get wet and if you, if you don't store them outside of your bag it can obviously contaminate your clothing and it doesn't smell very great. It's nice to be able to put your, your glove uh, in this little pouch which, which makes, um, which makes uh, your clothing smell a, a lot better than, than it would if it, if it had some glove smell on it. 
On the side, we've got another little pouch. This is really convenient. Um, some people do store their shin guards here. I find it quite convenient to put a water bottle. You can also put uh, balls, gum guards in there as well. It's, it's, it's a really nice and sort of versatile pouch you can use for a couple of things. If we open the second segment, again, you've got lots and lots of space. We like this because it, it can flap open completely and it's great to be able to if you are lying it down on the floor on your bed and you're packing for the day you can uh, actually layer your stuff pretty nicely and it's quite comfortable because the flap opens up completely so we find that uh, really convenient really good zip and, and you'll notice all the zips have got that really sort of prominent Osaka branding on which is which is great on the side we've got another extra little handle just to make it easier for you to pick up you'll notice that there are a couple of different ways that you can pick this up we've got a handle at the top handle on the side and then another sort of handle right on the side it makes it uh, you can carry it like a suitcase um, all just little ways to make life a little bit easier for you if we move further down to the bottom compartment first thing I like to talk about is on the side we've got these durable straps and uh, this is great to kind of secure your your products or your goods inside but also what I like is if you have had a shower after your game and you and you have your towel I, I like to roll my towel up and, and put it in here and, and just tighten it with with the straps I find that pretty pretty convenient and pretty handy the compartment itself has got lots of space really nice zip again uh, and it also has this really great mesh on the on the inside that just is another little area to store some things that uh, that are small and maybe a little bit niggly to find if you are looking for it in and amongst your clothes so really really ample amount of space for you to store all your stuff and um, that is pretty much all the compartments that we look at when we look at this modular XL analog black really really highly durable uh, tarpaulin it's also got the extra reinforced um, padding at the bottom just you know that's probably where most of the wear is going to come so there's just that extra extra bit of material at the bottom to make it more more sort of durable these bags are incredibly durable we see we see many people that have bought bags five six seasons ago that are still using them that are perfect so it's another reason why we sell so many of these they're just incredible value for money so that's a look at the analog black let's have a look at uh, the really really cool analog white all right so here it is this is the analog white i think uh, this is really really cool and actually already we've seen in store that you know as soon as customers come in and they, and they see the detail on this bag they you know they quickly sort of decide that this is the one for them um, a lot of the times people are maybe a little bit reluctant to buy white um, but because of this uh, tarpaulin material it's really easy to clean it's not it's not like it gets stained um, just with a with a cloth with a little bit of detergent um, if there's a bit of dirt just wiping it off actually is uh, is sufficient enough to get it back looking look, like like new but I think what really makes this bag interesting is this translucent a couple of seasons back we we had that really small capsule that uh, we got from Osaka on the translucent stick bags which had this really cool sort of it's not quite see-through but you can sort of have a look and and, and see that there is some stuff inside um, and we've just got this uh, this sort of translucent material just on a couple of the panels on the bag and you know I think it's it's just it's an incredibly unique um, material that they've used and it gives it just a, a really sort of um, feature to it where, where people kind of look twice and say like well, what's actually going on there and I think that that's really what makes it pretty cool and that's why it's standing out uh, quite a lot and why people are finding it so uh, so appealing that, that uh, again that translucent material goes all the way down the sides two or three panels on the front and um, other than that the two bags are identical from a features point of view you've got the same amount of volume you can carry the same amount of sticks um, something i didn't quite touch on on the with the analog black and um, i thought it'd be a bit better with the white is these straps and um, so in the past a lot of bags have got it where the webbing actually goes directly into the bag and it doesn't it, it kind of restricts the movement because the 
the straps are, are kind of attached directly to the bag and what you'll see with these is the the padding itself has moved off and it's just it's just connected with a strap that gives it this incredible sort of versatility which makes it really easy to sort of just chuck over your shoulder and it's something simple like that but it really does it really is a lot more comfortable you can feel it we've got uh, some shoulder padding we've got some air vents at the back so just to sort of make sure that there's some good airflow there's some lower back um, lower back padding as well so um, yeah between these two bags the analog black analog white and obviously this also does come in the uh, in the pro tour range the sort of iconic black and green you know out of those three options you really uh, any one any one of them are going to be a great option and something that's going to last you a long long time if you have any questions on any of these uh, analog uh, modular xls please let me know hit us up in the comments below give us a like if you haven't yet subscribed please do so and we'll see you on our next review.